Hawker 7241 Romeo, runway 22, line up and wait. Line up and wait, runway 22. Hawker 7241 Romeo. Citation 39er, Quebec runway 13 right, cleared to land. Cleared to land runway 13 right, Citation 39er, Quebec. November 7241 Romeo, stop, hold your position. Hawker 41 Romeo, stop, hold your position immediately. In October 2023, the Hawker 25, operating under Part 135, was instructed to line up and wait on runway 22 at Houston's William P. Hobby Airport. The pilot read back the line up and wait instruction and taxied onto the runway. Then, the plane began its takeoff roll. The controller told the aircraft to stop and hold position, but the aircraft continued its takeoff and collided with a Cessna Citation that had landed and was rolling out on runway 13 right. Luckily, only the left winglet of the Hawker and the tail cone of the Citation touched, and no one was killed or injured. In February 2023, another event occurred at Boston's Logan International Airport when a Learjet, operating under Part 135, departed after being instructed to line up and wait on Runway 9, crossing only about 330 feet in front of an Embraer 190, which had to execute a go-around. In September 2023, at Sarasota Bradenton International Airport, a Bonanza operating under Part 91 was instructed to line up and wait on Runway 14, but departed while a Piper Archer was on final for Runway 4. ATC told the Archer to go around, the Bonanza passed underneath the Archer at the intersection of the two runways. These were not the only instances of aircraft instructed to line up and wait, then starting their takeoff roll. There were 50 such events in 2023, with operators ranging from light general aviation aircraft to air carrier jets with two pilots. Line up and wait is used by air traffic control to inform a pilot to taxi onto the departure runway to line up and wait. It is not authorization for takeoff. In other words, line up and wait means to taxi onto the runway and hold position until cleared for takeoff. It is used to pre-position a departing aircraft on the runway when it can't yet be cleared for takeoff due to other traffic. For example, a preceding arrival that is still on the runway, an aircraft taking off or landing on an intersecting runway, or an aircraft or vehicle crossing the runway downfield. This can increase the capacity of an airport. Controllers conduct lineup and wait operations according to strict rules, but those rules don't mean anything if pilots line up and go instead of line up and stop. Why do pilots depart when they are instructed to line up and wait? The answer lies in a variety of human factors that can lead pilots to mistakenly depart. Expectation bias occurs when individuals are primed to receive and interpret information in a way that aligns with their anticipated outcomes, rather than objectively assessing that information. Skyline 7241 Romeo, runway 27, line up and wait. Line up and wait, runway 27, Skyline 7241 Romeo. In the case of line up and wait, it is natural to expect a takeoff clearance when holding short of the runway. But if a pilot fails to anticipate that the next logical step could also include line up and wait, what the controller actually said and what the pilot understood may not be the same thing. That expectation bias may be so powerful that it can even override a line up and wait clearance that pilots have read back correctly. Skyline 7241 Romeo, runway 27 cleared for takeoff. 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 Line up and wait. A phenomenon called habit intrusion may cause normally practiced steps to be so compelling as to override any air traffic control communications. For pilots who are not accustomed to performing line up and wait, the mere act of taxiing onto the active runway, the act of completing checklist items, or even that view down the runway may be so closely associated with the takeoff role that performing the takeoff becomes a force of habit. Our vision provides some of the most powerful cues to the world around us. The visual cues when looking down the runway and line up and wait status are the same as when lined up for takeoff, and it causes pilots to forget they were told to line up and wait. 
Line up and wait is a two-part instruction. The first part, line up, that is, taxi onto the runway, is done immediately. The second part, wait, is a requirement for future action. The requirement to remember to do something in the future is known as prospective memory. And it presents a unique challenge for our memory, namely that we must remember to perform an intended action in the future. In this case, waiting after lining up on the runway. Voluntary reporting system reports regularly indicate that distraction is a factor in lineup and wait events for both general aviation and commercial operations. The primary task while taxiing from the hold line to the runway center line is to safely maneuver onto the runway and hold position. Anything else you do during this period, such as non-operational conversations, completing checklists, or programming avionics is a distraction that could cause you to forget that you were told to line up and wait. What can you do to prevent departing when instructed to line up and wait? Actively listen to what air traffic control is saying. Think about what the controller actually said before you respond. Clearly read back the instruction to line up and wait and include the runway designation and your call sign. Think about the traffic that is restricting air traffic control from giving you a takeoff clearance. This will help fight the instinct to take off due to the visual cue of being lined up on the runway. Maintain a sterile flight deck while taxiing onto and holding on the runway awaiting your takeoff clearance or other instruction. Complete pre-takeoff checklist items before crossing the hold line. Wait to complete any remaining items until cleared for takeoff. If you are not ready when air traffic control instructs you to line up and wait, respond that you are not ready and that you will hold short. Develop and use a memory aid to help you remember you are in line up and wait, such as you can turn on the landing light only when cleared for takeoff and then check the position of the landing light switch before adding power. If it's not on, you haven't been cleared for takeoff. Start a flight timer when you receive your takeoff clearance and check it prior to beginning your takeoff roll. If the timer is not running, you haven't been cleared for takeoff. Write down, line up and wait, and cross it out when you receive your takeoff clearance, and develop a procedure to check it before beginning every takeoff roll. Cleared for takeoff, runway 10. Concur, cleared for takeoff, runway 10. For two person crews, both pilots should concur that they are cleared for takeoff using challenge and response before adding power. No matter what instructions or information you hear while taxiing onto the runway or waiting in position, you are not cleared for takeoff unless you hear your call sign and cleared for takeoff. As always, if you are ever unsure about your clearance, ask air traffic control. They're there to help. Skylane 41 Romeo runway 10 right cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff runway 10 right Skylane 41 Romeo.